Hey, we're back. New studio, new products to review, and hey, a new host. Hey guys, I'm Peter. Nice to meet everybody. If you're serious about gaming, you probably already thought about upgrading your keyboard or mouse, if you haven't already. I sure have. Today, we'll take a serious look at the HyperX Alloy Core RGB keyboard. And the next video will be on the HyperX Pulsefire Core, which are available as a bundle on Amazon. And the links for that will be in the description. If you decide this is right for you and use our affiliate links to buy, it does help us here a bit, so thank you for that. So how good is this keyboard? I want to find out. Let's get to it. The HyperX Alloy Core RGB gaming keyboard has all the market buzzwords going for it. There's gaming, there's RGB. There's good marketing words like alloy and core. Great product shots with rainbow illumination and a top light strip for no reason except to show off more RGB and make your keyboard take up more room. But the real question is, does it perform? So the Alloy Core retails for about $50 US, 40 pounds in Britain, 70 Canadian, and about 2,000 Taiwan dollars, and comes with a two-year warranty. We'll throw the link up here when it's done for the HyperX mouse they occasionally bundle with it on Amazon, and the upcoming review of the Pulsefire Core is coming soon. Key features of the Alloy Core are multi-key anti-ghosting, gaming keys, spill resistance, a thousand hertz pulling rate, and a braided type cable which is non-removable and comes right out of the center so no cable routing options. Measuring 44.3 centimeters by 17.5 cm's, this membrane type keyboard has a good weight at just over 1.1 kilograms or 2 pounds 7.5 ounces and it's got a solid build with just a bit of flex. And the standout feature is the top light bar and out of different RGB implementations we've seen, the fading between colors is very smooth and looks really great. Included in the box are instructions on how to work the RGB, a support card telling you where to go if you have issues, and a thank you note from HyperX. First impressions are pretty good, with a nice overall design. Micro ridges on the front surround the front bezel logo. The top of the keyboard also has an Onyx metal type logo, which catches the light nicely. I really like the white LEDs for game mode, num and caps lock, which are right beside the dedicated volume buttons, with a super easy to hit mute button. You can find it easily without looking, as it's right at the top corner. This is really well thought out. At a couple millimeters high, the volume buttons are a little firmer to press than the rest. Just below that in the light bar, we have the half height dedicated media buttons, which are right here. Again, well planned out, with the next button closest to the edge, making it easy to find without taking your eyes off the screen. These require a bit of a harder press than the other keys. The back is a very simple affair with just height adjustment feet, which are small and one setting, either out or in. Measuring from the rear corner of the keyboard, extending the feet raise the back of the keyboard by one centimeter. There's a small difference in key angle with this and the typing experience does change slightly. And the RGB on this keyboard is well implemented with a five zone color customization option. The top left keys from left to right control brightness level one, two are off. Next is LED mode control button, switching from color cycle, spectrum wave, breathing, solid, five zones, and Aurora. The game mode key is a toggle disabling the Windows key, so you don't hit it by accident while hammering your bottom keys. Just checking out the solid color presets, we get Candy Apple Red, Carrot Orange, Cyber Yellow, Emerald Green, Electric Aqua, Azure Blue, a Light Violet, Fuchsia Pink, followed by a Futuristic Cool White. Function left or right changes color. These are all available on breathing mode as well. Speed is controlled by function up or down. The slowest speed is nice and slow, gentle and not distracting when you need to focus. When in five zone color mode by default this rainbow scheme, function F1 through F5 allows you to change the colors across the different zones. You are limited to the nine basic colors though. And don't forget that a number of factors can change the colors you're seeing on your screen, especially your monitor color settings, uh, Windows nightlight, limited versus full range RGB settings and more. I noticed there was a firmware update to 2.1.1.2, which is a bug fix for numlock and caps lock indicators, occasionally not showing the correct state. 
while we were using the alloy core, we didn't notice any issue with this, but grabbed the update anyways. Now HyperX has its own Ingenuity software in beta that works with a number of middle and higher end keyboards and mice, but I didn't see the alloy core RGB on the list. I did see the Pulsefire core listed though, so we downloaded and installed it to see if it would interact with this entry level model. It's a Microsoft Store download of 90 megs, which downloaded and installed quickly. I didn't really expect it to, and no, the Alloy Core doesn't have functionality with the Ingenuity software. However, it did recognize the Pulsefire Core, so that's good. So we're up to the typing test. Let's have a listen. And here's the Sadie's Blade Mail. It's a similar membrane keyboard for comparison. Now we don't have a Cherry MX in the studio right now to test, but that would likely be louder and clickier depending of course on which Cherry style you go for. What a great keyboard. It's sturdy, solid, with a very good key feel and not too noisy. Plus you get very well backlit keys in the surrounding area. And the top light bar is a nice touch. Please take a moment to like this video, and if you like what you see, then please do subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified when I upload new content. Yeah, so um, how do you like gaming on this? Yeah, I felt the uh, gaming experience was really good. I did some Borderlands 3, and uh, running through the map and shooting at enemies and you know dodging undercover was all very fluid, uh, very responsive. Um, yeah, really, really good feeling with this keyboard. The main selling point about this keyboard to me is the, the keyboard and the feel to it. It's, it's, I, like the, I like how silent it is. You can, you can game and, and not disturb anyone in the background. Uh, that's, that's my main thing when I, uh, when I like gaming, when I, when, I, when I try to game. Yeah, so. that's true. There's, um, you know, the Cherry MXs, uh, there's people who, who swear by them, who love those kind of keys, but they're, they're very ticky for me. And um, for me personally, you know, like high kind of pitch noises, you know, kind of like, uh, so I mean, I'm able to relax with this. When you're gaming, the, the noise just, the, the keyboard uh, presses just kind of fade into the background, so you don't even, you know, register it. It's, it's really nice. Yeah, yeah. And when uh, when we first unboxed it, 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 it felt like it was uh, it, it was built pretty sturdy. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, we did uh, earlier in the video. You saw the flex test, and uh, you know, kind of gave it gave it a little uh, test out that like that, and uh, it turned out really well. Um, very stable, very sturdy. Yeah, I like how simple this keyboard is. Like the uh, the RGB effects, how it's uh, easily controlled through the top left buttons on the, on the on the top left. Yeah, that's true. So the RGB is controlled from up here, and <clears throat> while we're talking about that, beside that is the uh, game mode button. And if you press this, the white LED come up, comes on. And I, I love these things. These these are awesome. I like the white. It looks very clean and futuristic. <clears throat> but the game mode uh, key, what it does is it locks out windows, of course, which is great because if you're mashing control or alt, you know, you don't want to hit yeah. the windows key because it'll just, like stop your game or, you know, it, it'll make you die. Yeah, so totally. that, that's a really nice feature to have on this keyboard. Yeah, and on the opposite side of the keyboard, um, you have the volume controls, which is uh, pretty uh, accessible. Yeah, it's, it's super well done. I mean, all you have to do is like use your, you know, get your finger on the corner and tap down and you, you can mute the audio, which is great. You can do it without looking. So, um, you know, a lot of other keyboards have the MIDI keys up top and volume up top. And I, I never find it useful enough for me to try and, you know, look for it and hunt, you know, to hit this key. I like, you know, I'm a touch typer. So just, you know, cornering and then tapping down is super easy. Yeah. And uh, same for the uh, media key too. If, uh, if you want to hit the next track in your list and you're streaming or something, yep. you just go down a little bit and tap that and it's next track. Yep. So that's, it's really well designed. Uh, kudos to the design team for that one. And bringing it back to how simple it is, um, my understanding is there's no software that is involved with the uh, RGB effects. Yeah, that's true. Cause uh, on camera right now you see it's doing this uh, simple wave. I forgot the name for this one, but uh, you can switch effects here. And so this is just a color blend goes through all the colors. This is the, the default rainbow. Or sorry, no, this is actually one of the wave modes as well, which is not bad. I'll leave it on this one for now. But uh, yeah, all the RGB effects are done here. And uh, also in the video, you've seen that there's uh, five zones and you can program each 
change each one. There's only nine colors you can select. Yeah. So one of the things I really wanted to see, I've seen it on another keyboard where you can actually, like this wave effect is going. And if you like this specific color arrangement, you can like pause the colors just like that and just keep it like that, which is awesome because you can play around with it and like, yeah. oh, I like this color. See, this keyboard has RGB effects, but I mean, realistically, there's nine colors you can select from, except for the wave effects, which have a really nice blend of RGB. Yeah. So if you had that ability to like fade through all the colors and if you could stop it, you could really get true, like any color for your keyboard, which is, you know, would be nice for this one. What are the colors that are not, not uh... <clears throat> Not displayed on the RGB, I, you said it was brown or? Oh yeah, no, no, so uh, basic RGB, uh, you know, it has seven colors, but the this keyboard also supports uh, orange and pink, okay, which is okay. not, you know, the, the normal seven. You oh, know, okay. you have a red, green, blue, um, aqua, yellow, uh, purple, and white. Oh. And so this keyboard also offers uh, orange and pink, which is nice too for any girl gamers or if you like pink, you know, whatever. <laughs> Do you know anything about if you can, uh, if we can switch out the keyboards and if we, if, if there's, if some, if some users want to use a uh, more tactile feel, like a Cherry MX key, is this is this able to? Oh do no, because like for membrane type membrane type keyboards, the keyboard itself is pretty much set like that. Some keyboards you might be able to do replaceable keycaps, but generally speaking, mechanicals you can do that with. Yeah. But the the lower not lower end the entry level keyboards are you know just built like that, so you don't have to worry about you know customizing or switching keycaps or other things like that. So, what's your verdict on the HyperX Alloy Core RGB? Yeah, I can tell you that uh, for fifty dollars, this is probably the best keyboard, budget-wise. Um, I really like it. Yeah, I, you know, with with the features it's got, the solid build quality, and uh, the RGB effects, and it's got extras like media keys and a game mode to lock out the Windows key. I, I'm also like, I'm sold on this keyboard. Yeah. Really, really good. And basically, the the premium feel of it. I, I I want I want stuff to I want my keyboards to last yeah. and not you know not break two months in right, so right. Um, it it feels real premium it feels like I'm getting a premium product for for a very budget price yeah that's true and uh, you know this this uh, build quality is really sturdy so you know hopefully you're not a gamer with a uh, gamer rage uh, but uh, if you are maybe this will survive a few bouts you know. But um, I, I'm actually really happy because a while back I was looking for a keyboard uh, around th this kind of thing. I wanted a cool keyboard, you know, with a backlight, uh, backlight and backlit keys because, you know, I do a lot of typing in the dark. And yeah. to find, you know, like four or five years ago, this kind of keyboard started at like 120, 130 bucks. Yeah, and, so and the, it's kind of amazing that um, right now you can get this quality and this these effects on the keyboard for just 50. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah, really happy with this one. Right off the bat, this membrane keyboard is noticeably quieter than most other keyboards, with a responsive feel better than a typical keyboard and definitely qualifying as a gaming one. So if you prefer the feel of a membrane type and don't necessarily need Cherry MX, you can get a great looking gaming experience at around 50 bucks and 65 if you decide to get the Pulsefire Core mouse bundle. I've been using the Pulsefire for a few months now, and it's really precise and fits well in your hand. Buying through our affiliate links, by the way, down below, does help support us here with no extra cost to you. Back to the Alloy Core RGB. We actually used it to write both reviews for this keyboard, as well as the HyperX Pulsefire Core RGB gaming mouse. And it gives a real tactile feel without needing extra effort to press the keys. The keys are full size and it feels responsive and the height adjustment gives an option to fit your typing style. The media keys are real well thought out. Great work by the design team for the placement, as you can mute or go to the next song without taking your eyes off the action. As I use a gel wrist rest for long typing sessions, I found having the keyboard flatter worked better for my typing and gaming, though you have the height option to suit your personal preference. With some other keyboards, I've had to extend the feet for the correct angle, but for this board, I found lying it flat felt like it worked the best. As for things to be improved, well, this is a bit hard considering the build quality and preset lighting effects for the price. If there are no higher tiers from HyperX and not much competition in the market, I think most consumers will be per perfectly happy. However, 
HyperX offers the Alloy FPS RGB and the Alloy Elite RGB at $90 and $120. Both which have software integration with the ability to really customize the RGB effects and hopefully the media keys also. So basically we've got two wave type effects and nine solid color options to choose for the Alloy Core. And this will suit most color schemes. Though if you really want to dial in a certain color to match your Aura, Mystic Light, Fusion or RGB Sync from various motherboard manufacturers, you'll need to get a keyboard tier higher. As for the smooth wave effects, the two provided are pretty sweet. Though we think that three to five more wave modes would have been a welcome addition and given more choice to the consumers. Overall, very small thing considering all the features you get at this price range. Big points go to HyperX for the solid build, feel and look of the Alloy Core RGB. Now we'd like to hear your thoughts on the Alloy Core RGB. Are you looking for something like this? Or are you thinking of mechanical keyboards instead or need more customization for buttons for your game? Join the discussion in the comments. Please do hit that thumbs up button if you like this video or tell us how we can improve for next time. To see more videos like this, please do subscribe for new content and be sure to click that bell icon to get notified when we put up a new video. We always check the comments and respond to most. So if you have a question or if we miss something, then please do tell us down below and let us know what you'd like to see next. We really appreciate you watching this far. Thanks for your time and we'll see you on the next. Bye for now.